obviously the Minister of Finance being the latest to criticize the Senate for passing um, the 4.9 trillion budget, almost 20% more than President Jonathan had implement, uh, had um, recommended. What, what are your thoughts on, on what we're seeing? Yeah, okay. Uh, I understand now what you mean by expansionary, uh, because 4.9 trillion is actually less than what was spent last year. Mm -hmm. So if you're comparing budget 2011 as announced with actual budget last year, uh, the you know, initial budget plus the supplementary appropriation, mm -hmm. this budget is a contractionary budget, mm -hmm. even in nominal terms. Mm -hmm. So uh, people in, you know, describing the budget as expansionary are only, you know, comparing the budget passed with the budget proposed, but I don't think that's the right way to do it. But one of the things that people keep bringing up, obviously, is recurrent expenditure. Um, I understand it's about 2.5 trillion in, has passed. Um, that's obviously something that is worrying the central bank. We've seen uh, extra measures to tighten monetary policy with a 100 basis point increase in the money policy, monetary policy rate. So from that perspective, one gets a sense that, yes, this budget is more than we need to be spending now. Oh, well. At least um, from the recurrent side. Well, it's going to be, you know, difficult to talk about what we need to be spending by looking at the nominal budget. Uh, it's the ratio of the budget to the economy that tells you, you know, whether the budget is falling or rising. Uh, nobody is doing that. Uh, nobody is relating the budget to the economy to know whether we are talking of even a reducing government spend. Yeah. Uh, everybody is looking at nominal figures and raising alarm. Much of it, I think, is false alarm. All right, let's talk about the state's budgets. So obviously, that's something that's going to have some bearing on the economy. Um, the federal side, obviously, is very key. But on the state side, last year we did see many um, governments struggling with um, spending, obviously, um, uh, borrowing to fund deficit budgets. What's the picture that you anticipate for this year? Well, states you know, should... Uh fare much better this year compared to the past two years. And that last year we budgeted initially at 67, then it was dropped to 60. So this year the budget is, you know, cut out at 75. I think that will make a few states uh, a lot more fiscally buoyant. Mm. And uh, it's actually at the state level that more of this capital spending takes place. Mm. Uh, state spends an average of 50% of their budget on you know, the capital side mm. of the budget, while the federal government struggles, you know, to do, uh, the federal government does mostly recurrent, you know. Uh, so if you look at fiscal and federal, you know, spend together, the states typically will spend something roughly equal to, if not slightly more than what the federal government is spending. Mm. And if they are doing half of that on capital, then uh, it's not a bad situation. So you think the budgets will f um, the states will fare much better than last year, obviously? Okay. At the much higher level of the benchmark, yes. All right. Now let's look at the the whole budgeting process. One of one of the key criticisms is that we continue to have very low levels of budget implementation, more so on the federal level, and um, given the 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 ambition for Nigeria to be a top economy going into the next decade. What are your thoughts on how we are positioning ourselves in terms of capital expenditure and recurrent expenditure? Well, uh, it's the year after the crisis is too soon, you know. Uh, if we may be looking for an ideal budget, we are not likely to get that, you know, either during the crisis or immediately after the crisis. Mm -hmm. You will be busy doing crisis management. Mm -hmm. uh, but ideally, when the, you know, when we moved far enough from the crisis, I guess Nigeria has to uh, look for new ways of making capital spending commitment. Mm. Uh, for example, uh, maybe passing a law that says um, oil proceeds should be invested, not spent on the current side, so government works extra to look for how to fund the current side of the budget, or draw up a priority list of projects that you like the excess crude account accruals, we soon rise again. Uh, have a list of projects that you consider as priority for capital spending. Mm. All that, you know, all those are 
are absent at the moment, and I think it's important that Nigeria throws up a few rules, not just building up savings, but build rules as to how to draw down from the savings so that it ends up in increased capital spending. And let's now digress a bit to monetary policy. Obviously, like I mentioned earlier, we saw the central bank react to this um, expected pressure from the budget on the economy by tightening and increasing the monetary policy rate by 100 basis points. I know generally you have not been in support of um, tightening as we've seen so far, at least not from a rate hike perspective. But give us your views on what has happened and what it means for the, for the, financial, economy, for the financial markets. Well, I think that uh, the tendency of the Monetary Policy Committee to respond to likely developments in the economy rather than to actual developments in the economy itself is potentially destabilizing to the macroeconomy. You're in a situation where the central bank has, in each of the last four meetings, taken measures to tighten. Um, we will soon see that even their own tightening measures could be a source of destabilization to the economy. You are looking for a central bank that is stabilizing the economy uh, with so many policy levers being pulled in the, f in the space of six months. Um, uh, there are genuine reasons to be worried mm -hmm. as to whether you, know, you don't. Uh, the Monetary Policy Committee doesn't need you know, to have clear rules guiding their conduct. You know. um, the, 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 the window of discretion they have is too wide and it's becoming a source of discomfort, at least for me. Mm 